Je ne pas Come on, body Don't give out on me now I feel so drained, my body's thrashed I can hardly move Yeah, good And this is to go Even further What's up? So uh, today, can't work out. I'm having like some ridiculous pain up top here and like the top of my shoulders. So for a video, I was just thinking about doing something like basically how I work on my mobility and like stretching and stuff, which I do not do enough of. But like the last couple months, I've been trying to stretch like more and more. Not before I work out, but I stretch at night. And I got like this little routine that I do for the most part. It's been pretty good. I mean, I've had like a lot less pain than I usually do. I mean, especially my arms, like usually after a lot of weighted pull-ups in the week, uh, my arms will be dead. Like they'll constantly get these little muscle contractions and they'll spasm throughout the day, like just from pain. And I'm not too sure, you know, what really to attribute that to. But for the last little while, I have been doing more mobility, which is nice and for when I work out, you probably see I'm live, like when I'm doing my live workouts, the extent of my stretching for that entire workout is literally what I do at the beginning. And what I do is I grab the bar like this. I just kind of go forward and back, get the rotators a little, uh, little loose. I'll do like a couple dead hangs. I'll twist to the side, twist to the side, do this again, take my feet off the ground again, just kind of pulse through it. And that will literally be the extent. Well, no, actually I do one other thing. Even if I'm not doing dips, this is just going to be a, a little warm up that I do. And it is getting up on this one here. I come up, locked out, I come down, and I just go until my feet are flat on the floor and get a really deep stretch. And then I'll pulse on this for a little bit, just to kind of, you know, get the arms moved around. Come back. I'll do the same thing. And then that will literally be all that I do before I do my actual workout for the day. But later at the night, I do have um, a type, a little mobility routine that I kind of do, and it's more or less a rip of like, P90X X stretch and their yoga. I just took a lot of uh, the stuff they were doing for that. And I just it's a pretty decent routine. I do have it right here. I'm just gonna go through it because I will be doing my mobility today anyway. And I figured why not make a video of it? Easy content. So the first thing that I do is like neck stretches. The only thing I knew. And with the neck stretches is you just stand, you go to the side, I wanted something different. You breathe in, you look up, you look down while you're stretching your fingers towards the floor. Tomorrow. And then you go over to the other side. Five years, ten years, or for the rest of your life. A lot of young people lose hope. And you just breathe as you're you know. Need some better light in here, but it's a crazy good stretch for the neck. I'll go right here because I never realized how tight the neck actually is. It's probably I think it's one of the tightest muscles in your body right here. So down, relax the arms. Go to the left. You can look up, and then you look back forward, and it just stretches all in there. It's almost borderline painful if you pull your neck over far enough back to the other side do that for like a solid i don't know like 20 30 seconds next up we got the expand contract shoulder chest expand contract shoulder and chest, I don't know, there's some stupid name for it. I have them all in my head, like, cause I just kind of remembered them. So, for this one again, breathe in. You reach point stretch as far as you can. It's just like a yawn in the good morning. And then you go, 
exhale when you come down. You gotta know what you're good at. You gotta know what you're And pull your elbows back together, almost like you're doing a super wide pull up. And it's really good for stretching the chest. You know, and you gotta know what type of thinker you are. You gotta know how you work, you know? And once you start to understand who you are, then you can start finding places. I love this one. And you want to just pinch your shoulder blades and your scapula together as you're going down. It feels amazing. Shake it out. And this one is, I don't know, I, I, there's no real name, but it's called Tapas Shoulder Stretch. And again, you're supposed to get into like a horse stance for better, but I don't like the horse stance. So again, you come in, reach out, and you try and just pull your hands back together. And this one is substantial too, like bring them back in. And then you can go this way. Check out this light here. Some people have crazy mobility, like their hands will go way back behind them. There's a couple of people on the video for the actual workout routine. It was almost scary, like contortionist, stuff. the way they were moving. So I'm still working on it. Baby steps count too. I didn't stretch for the longest time, so a lot of this is new for me, and I really wish I did stretch because I could have recovered a lot faster, which is really why I'm doing it now. Cause I don't like being in pain all the time. And then I'm gonna go into arm circles for like, you're supposed to start off small, but I just go for the big ones. There's always gonna be a couple clicks in my left shoulder every time I start these out. I don't even know, like I don't count these. So that every day when I go to sleep, every day when I wake up and look at those pictures. About 30, and shake it on, and I'm just gonna go start again with the big ones again. This time, uh, you go forward, so. In front of you all the time, and you know exactly what you're chasing. The people you look up to are going to form your vision of what the world, you know, how you want to be in later life. Ah. All right. Those absolutely kill. And immediately after those, what you're supposed to do is go into a shoulder tricep stretch. So, just breathe in. Grab it with your other arm here and just pull it towards you. Ideally, you want to hold these for like 30 seconds to a minute every stretch, but I'm just kind of trying to go through them so it's not like a super long video. And then you bring this one behind you, grab the elbow with the opposite hand, and just pull it down. If you have a lot of stretch marks on the outside of your shoulder there by the armpit, you're probably going to tear on these. I ended up tearing a couple by accident a few times just from stretching and not like major tears but just a bit of blood coming out you know no big deal but don't let anybody steer you away from where you want to be in life and opposite arm grab the elbow pull it helps a bit if you look uh, in the direction of the arm you're stretching and you feel confident that you can do it go after it the hell with everybody else this is your life you have Oof. the tools and resources. So they will be burning, especially right after the uh, shoulder tricep stretch there. All right, well, the shoulders are still burning. You're gonna do a standing side stretch. So feet together, you bring up both arms. Exhale, lean to one side. And it's just, again, a basic stretch. Side stretch. And then you go to the left there. Again, you want to hold them ideally for like 30 seconds to a minute, around there. Oh, next one's some sort of like a spine stretch. It's called seated spine stretch. You're going to take the one leg, 
whichever one is which one you start with. And you're gonna put it on the outside of the other knee and then put your right hand in this case behind you, bring up and you come down and you just kind of crack your back. And then after you hold that for a while, you put the right leg down, left leg over on that side. And again, so breathe in, come down, and you want to just crank all your pressure off your knee and it'll stretch your spine out pretty good. Always look in the direction you're stretching to. That helps. Cat's wondering what in the sweet fuck I'm doing over here with these stretches. What's up, Boots? <laughs> This one here we got the standing hamstring stretch. So you want to put your feet outside shoulder width, breathe up, and then you come down. And if you can, you can touch the floor. Or you can just rock in the position and let your weight just naturally, you know, get the stretch in the back of your hammies. I'll get a better look here. Okay, so and I can get my palms. Uh, people can get crazy, you can grab the back of your ankles, but wait. And you wanna keep your legs completely straight. And you can even go from side to side, so lean over to this side, try and touch the ground with your left hand, and then you can lean over to the right side, try and touch the ground with your right hand, and then focus more on each leg individually for the time. Then you want to hold these for another 30 seconds to a minute, you know. After you're done with those, you will go right into standing quad stretch. So, when you start with these, um, they're kind of hard to balance, and you get used to them, but yeah, if you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. But I will take my right leg and my right hand, Maybe you could start with the little change of going to bed. Stand up straight and then and just stretch it. And this is to stretch the quads out. It's the standing quad stretch. So 30 seconds to a minute on the right leg and then you're gonna go right to the left one. And that your day will start better. And that you'll get more done. And it's real good. It all starts by making one little change. Uh, and adding to it every day. That. Okay, I have a hard time remembering this. Like I literally, I'm trying my best to know them without winging it. Next we got, they call this the Reacher's, Reacher Stretch. Reacher, R-E-A-C-H-E-R. -E so you put one foot in front of the forward, doesn't matter. One foot forward in front of the other one, doesn't matter which. Turn your pelvis straight and try to pull your hands behind you. Exhale and bring them forward and bring them up as high as you can. Again. Uh, immediately after that one, I don't know what the fuck these are called. I just do them because they feel good and they help my shoulder and the rotator cuff, you know, health. So, you wanna supinate one hand while you're pronating the other one and just reach to the side that you're supinating with and then you switch to the other one, and then you want to lean that way. And this was actually so good. Like, oh, this is good for handstand day. Eh? You want to try and get straight arms. Not like my handstand, it sucks, but whatever. All right. No fall. All right, I got it on a jinky paper towel thing here, but. These are the vinyasa sun salutations. So it's basically just like a typical little yoga stretch uh, for your calves, hands, and shoulders. It gets a lot of shit. It's almost like a dive bomber push up. So, right here, you hold this for a while, come through, just like a dive bomber. Pull your shoulder blades back. Uh, so, twist your elbows forward. Breathe in and then come back down. And then back through. We'll do that a few times. 
After that one, I go into the wrist stretch, and this is pretty good for handstands and getting uh, better mobility because my wrists suck. And if anybody seen my wipeo video from weighted handstand push-ups, I lost my balance and I ended up smacking it real good that time. So that's always in your control. Staying with somebody that treats you like garbage is a decision. Take your wrist here. If you want to turn your elbows out as far as you can. Staying in the Open your fingers up helps, you and then you want to lean to the left. Is it going to be lean easy? to the right? No, it's not going to be easy to change. It's simple. And to the it's left. It's your job to push to yourself. the right. Hold those for a few breath counts when you're doing them, and then you want to go to the back of your hands, straighten your arms. And I don't have good mobility this way yet. See, it's very hard, but. There's that one. There's also another one that I don't do, but it's for the front part of the wrist where you go back on your hands like this. I can only do one at a time, but. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that one. That one hurts like hell, but. I mean, it probably works. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, wrist stretch glutes. Okay, so now we got one for the glutes. The next morning, the alarm goes So you want to take your left ankle, put it on top of your right knee. Then you reach through this leg, grab your knee with your hands, put your back flat, breathe. And I, I'll never forget. And then when you exhale, you want to pull it a bit. It was cold. It was winter in Boston. Do that for a few breath counts. Get the other one in. I have beaten my head of hitting the snooze button. I hate mobility. I really need to do it more. There were moments all day long. I really want a nice ass to grass squat, like but I need to. Uh, open my hip flexors more, I'm assuming, I knew because mine are freaking terrible. Like I got low, but I got that butt wink that everybody's always bitching about, but I'm working on it. So that's all you can really do. Hold those for like a Every solid, uh, a couple of breath counts. You have about a five next. second window in which you can move <laughs> Frog, okay. So next is the frog stretch. And it's more or less a modified, a modified split stretch. So, you're going to pull your knees well, as far out as they can go. Your knee should be in line with your ankle of your foot. And then once you feel it stretch, go down to your elbows and you just breathe in and push back. Now, a lot of women, I don't know how, they can put their ass right to the floor, like in this position, which is wild if you think about it, because I'm not even like halfway there. And I feel like I'm about to tear my sack open. Like this is a hard stretch. Repeat. The one thing that all the greats have in common is they sweat the small Ooh. stuff. They pay but very, very close attention to every detail. You know what's working. What makes you comfortable uh, can ruin you. This one actually hurts from there. I just jump back into a calf one. So again, a downward dog or whatever, just you like you like you're in sprinters blocks. Get the ankle mobility going. After that, uh, seated hamstring stretch. Okay, so this is the only one that I'm actually decent at. Put your foot straight, make sure your leg's flat. You can turn your body if you have to, point your toes up, and then grab your toes. This one I can get like a good, I don't know where my yoga block is, but I was able to grab past my toes for a little while like on the yoga block way over here, which is decent since I don't stretch that much. Since the last couple months, which is why I'm making this, because I'm hoping these stupid stretches are gonna help my mobility. understand the power of a five second decision, and you understand that you always have a choice to go from autopilot to decision maker, everything in your life will change. You will be a different negotiator, you will be different with sales, you will be unstoppable at the gym, Stretching actually sucks, but you feel so much better afterwards that I don't know why I do it as little as I do. For a while I was doing it almost every day and I just got lazy and stopped caring, but I'm going to try and get back into it. Uh, groin. Okay. Next one. It's just a groin one, so you put your feet together here. 
and you want to use your elbows, you grab your ankles, pull your feet in as close as you can, use your elbows, push the knees down. Yeah, no, don't rock. Yeah, fuck. Rocking's bad, boys. Don't do that. Okay, that's a bad move. <laughs> Fucking Sensei Chance is still new to this, so do as I say, not as I do, you know? No, I'm still learning this shit, too. I'm hoping I can get to a solid level soon, but... Standing splits. Alright. And... The last basically, basically the last move is going to be standing splits stretch. I don't know where I'm going to do this one to get like a good idea of maybe right here. Okay. Uh, so feet are going as far apart as you possibly can. I really want the splits, but you want to keep your legs straight, so that makes it way harder. And then I touch the floor, and when I'm just kind of finding my place on the floor here, it helps me focus more on the stretch, like feel it more without having to worry about staying balanced. And then you can move from fingertips to flat palms, from flat palms. Son of a fucker, that hurt. Flat palms to your elbows, and then a little bit deeper from there. But for the most part, that's it. That's like the extent of uh, my grueling mobility workout. And it works for me. Uh, I mean, like pain-wise, I've been doing a lot better, and that's like not stretching before workouts again, only the bar hangs and the little jerk arounds that I do prior to the actual workout. This stuff, I all do at night which is the same time I usually do my grip training. I do a bit of gripping stuff, so um, just like main grippers and then like uh, straight finger grips like that and then I'll work the extensors with some bands just to try and get a bit better forearm strength, better grip strength because uh, my grip always gives out first, but yeah, that's it. That's what I do for mobility. Um, it works pretty well, like there's a lot of stuff that's missing, like pancake, I don't know, I see a lot of shit like on channels like Dom and them. They do some really advanced stretching, like their mobility is insane. What's that one called, Jefferson Curl or something, where you take the weight and you literally just hang with the weight and you lean forward the entire time and you just let it like stretch out your body. I don't know, it looks pretty dangerous. But that's all I got for stretches. And today's a rest day because I'm super sore. I might do some grip training tonight, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want, but actually join Calisthenics Worldwide on Facebook because it's a calisthenics support community. And I think that's better than YouTube because there people will actually answer your questions and you can post videos and get like feedback on what you're doing. So check it out if you want to learn calisthenics or train or anything. If not, then fucking whatever. But yeah, all right.